Hey guys, welcome back to Chef Talk. Welcome back to another movie review. Today we are reviewing To All the Boys, P.S. I Still Love You. This is a Netflix movie. It is a sequel to To All the Boys I Love. Um, starring Lana Condor, Noah Centeno, John, or Jordan Fisher. And it was directed by uh, Michael from, from you, Johnny. Um, no, I messed that up. And this, this movie is about... About Lana's, Lana's character, Laura, Laura Jean, and the third letter that she wrote, pretty much. So, give you a little backstory. In the first movie, um, Laura Jean had wrote these these letters to three boys, I do believe, telling them how she felt, but she never sent them out. And uh, her little sister one day saw it, and meddling sister that she was picked them all up sent them out to all the boys two of them were still at the school that she lived that she was going to and the other one was i guess cross country i can't remember where this guy was like um and so at the end of the first movie she pretty much had fallen for the boy that she uh, for uh, one of the letters that she wrote and bringing us up to this time she's going they're, they're together, they're going on first dates, um, they're learning how to be boyfriend, girlfriend, or really she's learning how to be a girlfriend. He's had a previous girlfriend. Um, and then in comes the third boyfriend, or the third guy that she loves. And that's this pretty much the premise of this movie, her dealing with that third guy while also dealing with the boyfriend and how she handles all this. And... Um, the first movie was really good. I thought it was really cute. A different kind of love, you know, story, coming of age type movie. This movie just, it seemed to me like they were making so many errors in this movie. Um, Laura Jean really, I think, was at fault for most of the stuff that happened. She, one, didn't tell the new love interest that she, that came in, that she had a boyfriend already. Um... Again, I don't know why she didn't do this. She just really seems to not know how to communicate or the story just didn't show that she knew how to communicate because with, you know, the third boyfriend, his name was John, I do believe. Um, they had their thing going on and then she'd be over here with her boyfriend, Peter, and, you know, they just didn't seem to communicate. And he was at fault too. Because, you know, like I said, he previously had a girlfriend as well. And she was going through some stuff. But instead of telling Laura Jean that, hey, I think the ex-girlfriend's name is Jean, or Jen. That Jen is going through some stuff. They, he kind of hit it. And that was the whole thing. Is like, these these kids, I know they're high school. They're being high schoolers. And... You know, that we shouldn't really expect high schoolers to, to communicate and stuff like that. But it was just like, it just seemed like miscommunication firing everywhere. And when they finally did start talking, like, oh, I saw you, you were with your ex-girlfriend. Or, hey, did you tell your the guy here that you were that you actually had a boyfriend and stuff like that. They, they just kind of squawked at each other instead of talked to each other. And that's what pretty much drives this movie and causes the tension and the drama in this movie and it was just like after a while it just kind of got annoying and I was like you guys need to get your act together and this is a typical movie you know especially your teenage love story coming of age stories there's really nothing new in this movie they're they're just it's just like how do we get to the next chapter and I wish I could really say more about this. I really love Lana Condor as an actress. She's been in some good things. And like I said, even the first movie of this, I thought they did a really good job of bringing something a little bit different. But this one just felt like tread, already treaded, you know, walkway. They didn't really think of anything new. There was nothing really different about this type of movie. It was, they entered, they had a protagonist enter to cause disruption to the relationship that was already fragile because it was new and one per one of the persons in that relationship just didn't know how to be what the other guy person needed and vice versa it just it just it just felt flat for me and so i'm going to give it 
two out of five chefs. It, I will recommend watching the first one, but the second one, it's just, it just didn't do it for me. I get it as a Netflix movie. There's not really supposed to be that much going on, but yeah, it just, there's better love stories out there. So guys, have you seen To All The Boys PS I Still Love You? Let me know down in the comments down below. If you like what you see here, please remember to hit that subscribe link. And if you like this review or like this video, please check out this one here. I think you'll like it as well. And as always, guys, I'll see you at the next review.